You may have seen it in an earlier video. I calculated the probability of an airplane and a model aircraft collision to be somewhere between 1 in 31.7 million to 1 in 38 million. And if you watched that video, you might be asking yourself, Alex, where's the suit and tie today? Well, today in this video, I decided that a motorcycle jacket would be more appropriate because in this video, I want to explain voluntary assumption of risk. Many of you found it interesting that you are nine times more likely to be injured by your toilet the next time you use it than you are to have a collision between your flying model and a full-scale aircraft. Yet, we aren't exactly advocating higher toilet safety. In fact, there are many ways you could be killed, such as in the shower. That's your odds of dying are 1 in 2,232. Of course, the safer option, the bathtub, you still have the odds of drowning and 1 in 685,000. Well, these risks, technically you could not bathe. Most of us don't think that that's a reasonable option in this day and age. However, there's some risks you can't avoid, such as food. Your chances of being killed by food poisoning are 1 in 360,000. Yet, if you don't eat, you'll die. That's a necessary risk. But what I want to talk to you today is voluntary assumption of risk. And we do this daily whether we want to admit it or not. You have statistically a 1 in 242 chance of dying behind the wheel of your automobile. Yet you get behind the wheel and drive multiple times per day and probably don't think much of this statistic despite knowing one or possibly more people who have been killed in an automobile crash. In fact, there's a 1 in 6.7 million chance you will kill somebody or yourself be killed the next time you operate your motor vehicle. Yet, we aren't looking to reduce our speed limits down to 20 miles an hour across the country, are we? No. It's a reasonable risk. So if the odds of a collision between a full-scale aircraft with a SUAS are so low, yet the chances of dying in a car or a motorcycle wreck are so high, why are we concerned about the safety of airline flight when we know that that's the safest form of transportation? I don't know. I don't know why people would assume that you would be grossly negligent if you were to come into contact with a full-scale aircraft flying your model. How is that negligence when your chances are less than that of becoming President of the United States? Before I go, I'll leave you with one final statistic. There have been 12 mid-air collisions between full-scale aircraft since 1992 compared to the one mid-air collision between a full-scale aircraft and a model. The 12 collisions between full-scale airplanes have left 232 people dead, making the odds of dying in a mid-air collision with a full-scale aircraft 1 in 2.5 million as compared to the odds of simply contacting this in the air being 12 times lower and never in the history of model aviation has an aircraft ever been downed by a model. And there have been zero deaths between models and full-scale aircraft. So for all of you people out there who are brewing the fear mongering saying, oh, you might be liable for gross negligence and such. No, that's total garbage. One in 38 million chance of that happening is not gross negligence. And to the rest of you followers, I might be crazy and keep them flying.